obviously we'll be working with the Bureau of Meteorology closer to, to Tuesday uh, and ahead of New Year's Eve, but at this stage uh, we are expecting the southerly change to start moving up through the coast, probably start impacting into the Sydney Basin somewhere around about 7 o'clock uh, in the evening and moving through over a couple of hours, um, which, which means the conditions will certainly uh, ameliorate in terms of hot temperatures and uh, and dry windy conditions, but we're obviously very mindful of the volatility of a southerly. So I, I don't remember a time when we've had total fire bans in place in the Greater Sydney region uh, where we haven't been able to accommodate the risk elements for conducting the New Year's Eve fireworks in the in the Sydney Harbour area particularly. Uh, obviously we work very closely with the local fire brigades, our fire and rescue and RFS brigades where relevant and if there are areas subject to the prevailing winds and those sorts of things where materials might drop, we just heighten our level of, of coverage to ensure a safe and effective uh, New Year's Eve function. We work very closely with a range of local uh, councils and other authorities around New South Wales and each, each area, each condition is assessed on its merits based on the local conditions, based on the level of risk and based on the uh, level of protection that might be able to be afforded. So we do that every year when, when it coincides with uh, uh, New Year's Eve uh, and we'll do that again this year uh, but at this stage um, I, I, I can't foresee uh, the Sydney uh, New Year's Eve uh, efforts being uh, compromised by uh, total fire van uh, implications.